That's right. Well, we've been at the show here for a couple days, and I had a chance to wander around uh, the tech center, what mm -hmm. they call uh, the right, zone. Right back here. Uh, yep. All, all, all that back stuff there. back there. A lot of really interesting equipment. But one piece I really wanted to, uh, to, to kind of bring to the forefront was a brand new product yeah. rolled out by Hexagon, the PC Demos uh, Touch. And actually, uh, we did an interview with them yesterday. We've got a little video we'll show you right now. Hi, we're at the PC Demos Touch booth with Eric Hollenbeck, who's going to tell us about a brand new product from Hexagon, the PC Demos Touch. Eric, uh, tell us a bit, little bit about this product and how it got started and what it's all about. Yep, it's uh, been developed for about uh, six, eight months, and uh, we really see an opening in the market, and it's something that we, we really think we can hit a big home run with. In a nutshell, what is it? It is a touch version of PC Demos. It's a user interface, which is much easier uh, to, and interactive uh, for the user, so that they can uh, do learn quicker and become more effective at the job. So it really, this is basically an easier way to what to program and run programs uh, on some of your equipment. Is that right? That's absolutely correct. Yes. Right now we're doing it for the arms only, uh, but we anticipate down the road it'll be the, the interface of choice. Uh, for all of our metrology equipment. We just as we, we see PCDMS as being a common software, uh, this will be the common interface uh, for PCDMS uh, with it running in the background with all the power of computation and all the, the processing that goes along with PCDMS. Okay, well run us through it and show us what it does. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this is the, uh, the opening screen. As you can see, it's just touch. I just hit that. This is a touchscreen monitor. I've got a, a little Lenovo laptop over there as well. So we just start off, we, uh, we just hit, you don't have to think too much, you just look around, it's like, oh, new, yeah, I want to do a new program. So I'm going to give it a name, and we'll call it Quality. So right now we're setting up for a new program, is that right? That's correct. Just as if I just walked up, um, my boss says i got to write a program, i got to get this part inspected, it's got to be done right now, you can't wait around, let's get the job done, right? So we're in America. Come over here, and uh, if I was going to take a picture of this part, and just bring my laptop over. Okay, so you just so you just took a picture of the part. What, just for documentation purposes? Yep, just so for documentation and for my operator. If you look back here on the on the screen, we got a picture of the part right there. You can say done. And now, if I go back up to the original screen. There's my quality digest part. So I could have kept going with the program, but, but just to show you what, what's going to happen with that. So then, you know, everybody talks about alignments with parts and how difficult alignments can be. Well, here's alignment with touch. Measure a plane. Done. So that was just a plane measurement you did right there? Just the plane for level level and the Z origin. Now I just did a line that's going to give me my rotation. And finally another line to complete my, to complete my alignment. Now this is an alignment. Done. It's that easy. So it took about 45 seconds. Exactly. And it, we're used to the old ways where you have to measure the features and then go through the selections and we've just canned everything up to make it super easy. Okay, so now that's, that's actually our program now for a very simple program, and so n now you would just, you're ready to run this? Yeah, let's say if I wanted to do a few more things, like let's say measure a couple circles. There's a circle, and let's say we measure one more. Now, I noticed that Automatic determined, you didn't tell it that you were going to do a circle, right? It automatically determined that it was a circle. Yeah, and let me, I'll, as a matter of fact, I'll do one more circle, and because and, and, I, want, I want you to see something. So I'm going to measure four points on the center bore. Now look at, uh, on the right side of the screen, this is one of the latest features with touch. Notice how... It measured four points, and in classic PC Demos, if you measure four points, it's going to guess. Um, 
we call it feature recognition. It's been around for a few years. Uh, but what you don't know is what it's going to guess. So it guesses something and it inserts that feature into your program. And if it's what you wanted, great, you win. If it's not what you wanted, then you got to back out and go through a few menu steps to get exactly what you wanted. And in this case, if it was a circle, then you'd have to force it to be a circle. Uh, now what we got, it highlights what it thinks you wanted to, what you think you wanted to create. And in this case, it thinks I wanted to do an inside circle. But since that's four hits, it could also be an outside circle, ge geometrically, of course, not. Uh, and then it could also be a plane, of course, and it could also be a line. So it's giving me and also a sphere over here. So it, it gives me the options. If I want to say, no, it's a sphere, I just touch sphere. Now it's going to say that it's going to create a sphere from those four points. Okay, so again, a very, uh, a very simplified interface um, and more intuitive, actually. Much more intuitive, exactly. Just, just what the user needs to see and nothing else, just, just the simple stuff. Oh. So it says circle, and I'm going to say, yeah, that's what I want. Circle, done. So now I got all the features, I got my program. Let's say I want to do some dimensions from that circle. So let's say that circle. It's going to give me the measured distance. Nice thing is right here, I can substitute the, uh, the nominal. If I know that this is supposed to be 32.3, I know the tolerances are supposed to be 0 0.005, 5 thou. Uh, I'll have the information here. Uh, I can say done. Let's say I also would like to do a concentricity of these two circles. Gives me the measured value here. I can edit the tolerance. We'll say 8 thou for that guy. And say done. Save my program. I got my report. This is what I will end up with. And then I can go into my run screen. So now I've, I'm, I have a full program that's been completely written. It's ready to inspect the part. Bring in my operator. Say, OK, Mr. Operator, I need you to run this part. You want to run from the top? Yes, I do. I want to run the whole thing, including the alignment. Prompts me to go right through it. Starts off with the plane. Gives me a nice graphical representation over here. If the operator is unsure, you can drag it around. You can rotate it, have a quick look. What feature is which, and where are where is it? So uh, first thing I'm going to do is measure the plane. That's what my guy told me. There we go. One, two. And I measure my line. Now I go into my circles. Now obviously all the way along the way it's prompting you for, for what dimension you're going to be taking. Exactly, yeah, exactly. If we look over on the screen here, uh, it's telling me that this circle, this particular circle is used in two dimensions, in the distance, first distance dimension that I did, and also in the concentricity dimension. Uh, it gives me that it's not necessarily uh, uh, necessary for the operator, but it did, gives them a little bit of buy-in. It makes them part of the process and understand what's going on. And that's the end, that's the end of the program. Okay. That's it. All right. So, so then, oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Um, so then I go, go back to my report. So I've got my report. And it's all the features that I measured, all the dimensions, the tolerances that I set. I can say save. And then I can go preview. I can export the program. I can print the program. And just for posterity, there's my report along with my program. And so that's pretty easy. So I mean, this, this, rolled, out, uh, this rolled out this week, so Tuesday. Is this already available on the market? It is not quite available for quotes. So we expect early July, early to mid-July, we'll be able to have this available. There's a few things within the factories, especially with the Romer factories, that we're trying to get in line just so we can make it a painless experience for the for, for our customers. Okay. But uh, but yeah, we're we're rolling it out just to get it's it's our big show. We gotta show it, but it's it's ready. It's working great. we we love it. And we can't wait to wait to see our customers using it. All right, that was Eric Hollenbeck showing us the PC Demus Touch. Eric, thanks a lot. Appreciate it, Dirk. Sure, Appreciate no it, Dirk. problem. Sure. Well,